Right, so if you have read and understood, consider and get communication skills station. Kindly please begin. Okay. 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 I'll enter the room <clears throat> and uh, we'll pick up the phone. Yes. We'll call. Hello. I'm Dr. Nadeem, one of the surgical candidates or uh, whatever doctor I am. I want to speak to ITU register. May I please confirm? Yes. Who I'm speaking to? Yes, this is Dr. Mann. I'm the ITU registrar. Okay, Dr. Mann, <clears throat> nice to talk to you. Can you please lend me a few minutes to discuss a case? That's okay. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. So here we have a lady who landed in uh, emergency. She is 76 year old and uh, has acute pain in abdomen. Uh, she might need laparotomy which is urgent uh, and will also need uh, ICU bed post-operatively uh, keeping in view her labs. Okay. Okay, so summarize so, your case. Okay, well, uh, I don't have the details now, but uh, like I don't have the notes, of, but patient is known case of CHD, yes, but, already taken steroids, yeah. yes. So uh, I'll explain according to the notes uh, that uh, she landed in emergency, uh, was resuscitated. Uh, her labs were sent. I will explain the vitals. She was hypotensive, tachycardic, uh, not maintaining saturation. Uh, and she is also a case of COPD for which she is on long-term steroids. Uh, so keeping in view all these things, uh, she might need uh, ICU care uh, to maintain her hemodynamic stability and also to avoid any Addisonian crisis which may develop perioperatively okay. and uh, also uh, okay, uh, okay. critically okay. managing. Why do you think, um, so yes. what do you think um, the fact that she came to the hospital uh, requires an urgent laparotomy, what do you think is the problem with her? the diagnosis from your assessment but in pain with and that requires okay so uh, so th there is distension of abdomen and uh, obstruction which might be due to or peritonitis which might be due to the di diverticulitis so so if uh, it's the peritonitis um why do you think it's a peritonitis well, or if from your assessment, if you assess the patient, where how will you find out that it's a peritonitis? Well, uh, while doing the examination, uh, there was tenderness and uh, diffuse tenderness all across the abdomen with the ileus, uh, and also history of if it's written in notes, vomit. So, mm, these all things, and also the uh, sepsis uh, look, septic look, all things going in favor of okay. peritonitis. Okay, so um, um, what fluid resuscitation will you give this patient? Sorry, what can you please... What you give repeat? to resuscitate this patient? How will you resuscitate? Well, I'll give... Yes, uh, I'll give dinker lactate uh, or sodium chloride in order to maintain her uh, sodium levels and also the fluid levels 
uh, will also give oxygen uh, will send the labs uh, again including complete blood picture lfts electrolytes rfts with abgs and will serially monitor the abdomen and vitals and okay uh, so will cross match blood also what are the pre operative investigations and preparation you will do for these patients how will you prepare yes. the surgery mentioned. I will pass a Foley catheter. We'll keep uh, her uh, nil by mouth. Uh, we'll put an NG to decompress uh, stomach. Uh, we'll put on omeprazole, IV antibiotics, IV fluids. Uh, manage the electrolyte levels, mm, uh, involving the internist as well, uh, and pulmonologist if available, and uh, uh, doing ultrasound. plus if uh, allowed uh, ct scan so uh, and so, uh, um ecg what okay so what um you know the patient is going in for surgery so would you want to assess the renal status and then considering the age of the patient what um, radiological and um, how do you want to assess the cardiovascular status of the patient investigations to assess that and then the renal status of the patient and then what do you, what are you looking for Do you understand the question? Okay, no, so please, I want you to tell me um, the investigation you would do to assess the um, the renal function, and then what you would expect. Then also tell me about how you, considering the age of the patient, seventy six year old patient, woman. So, um, how would you assess the cardiovascular status investigation wise? well uh, renal function test as i mentioned uh, there is disturb electrolytes uh, with hyperkalemia as well in if written in the note and uh, no, we'll uh, do uh, ecg monitoring and uh, continuous uh, cardiac monitoring okay so uh, in the ecg what you what would you expect to find uh think you know doctor okay. please all right What are the ECG findings you would expect in this patient? Patient is well. Uh, okay, in hyperkalemia, total T waves QRS uh, uh, enlarged and. Uh, mm. Okay, but well, you know this patient mm -hmm. has um, peritonitis and has a uh, fluid loss um, into the abdomen. So, would you expect hyper or hypokalemia because of the fluid loss and all that? Okay, what are your criteria for? admission to itu for this okay uh, uh, criteria for admission will be uh, either failing cardiovascular system or uh, any chronic condition with another uh, system that might fail uh, and uh, major surgeries cardio uh, vascular surgeries or neurological surgeries okay. all right so what type of oxygen mask will you want to use for this patient non rebreathable oxygen mask with proper position of the patient but What here i'll specific? take care of keeping keeping the saturation between 88 to 92% keeping with the copd history all right so it's 24 to 28% yes okay i would okay um now how would you calculate the potassium that okay it will be uh mm, it will be well uh, i have forgotten the formula but it's uh, 140 minus age, age into the de desired value minus like 4 minus the uh, present value okay all right great what if i have only one itu bed and there's an asthmatic lady coming first what um how will you manage your patient? well post operatively post operatively i will uh, manage and observe the uh, lady in uh, recovery area till the asthmatic lady is gone or we get the bed all right good all right then thank you at the end thank you'll you. ask the candidate Please. to summarize all okay, the so advices that you have given yes in this okay, can you summarize can you summarize all uh, your advice i've given you well uh, you mentioned about ecg about the renal function test and uh, uh this were the two i think for no, the moment and repeat you do so say
resuscitation and calling anesthetic. Yes, okay. Both? There should I write? You, okay, now you don't have a pen. Maybe you have a pen. At mm -hmm. But then you also have to consider is it hypokalemia or is it hyperkalemia? Considering patient with peritonitis. Mm -hmm. As I don't have the labs in front of me, uh, book is not open, so pardon yes. me. I forgot no, a few but other this things. is like uh, used from your residual knowledge. How should it mm. be? How would the patient present? And how would you take care of the patient? Mm, she must have got hypokalemia, I think. Yes. 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 What would be the management then? You will expect cardiac arrhythmias? Mm. Yes, arrhythmias and uh, the. the mm, patient is also taking steroids. Plus. So. Yes, you already yes. said so maybe hypertension, hypoglycemia. Yes, but patient, but patient is taking inhalers, right? So post-operatively or during, then you have mm. to give IV steroids. Hydrocortisone. Yes, mm -hmm. because you can't withdraw, you can't stop at uh, at once. So this mm -hmm. you have to keep in your mind. And it's major surgery. Yes, so you'll keep you'll keep the record of oxygen saturation as well, the vitals monitoring antibiotics and the post-operatively maybe just care like physiotherapy and etc. So these are the advices this consultant gave you. Mm -hmm. uh, and to mm -hmm. con contact anesthetic yes. because you are going to do laparotomy and patient is a known case of COPD taking steroids. Mm -hmm. So anesthetic has to evaluate if patient is fit for surgery or not. Right. And at the end, in this session, especially, examiner asks you to summarize at the end. Must So you must listen or must write down all the advices examiner is giving you during the telephone call because he would ask you to sum it up at the end. And here is your question.